What's up everybody? So today we're taking a look at Red Dead Redemption 2 running on the Ryzen 5 3600 and the GeForce RTX 2070 Super. So here's my settings. Um, I know up here in the video memory it says we got more than enough but I don't want to push it because the frame rate's actually kind of low for what I would like but not too bad. So here's where we're at 1920 by 1080 um, actually I'm going to switch this to full screen we'll apply changes I don't know if that's going to affect anything or not but we'll find out um, I have vsync on with the triple buffering mainly because it's the lower frame rate so I don't really want to get too much screen tearing or anything like that uh, game pause on focus loss I have no idea what that is uh, and I'm usually playing with the controller so this uh, mouse pointer I don't worry too much about um, textures ultra filterings at 16 lighting qualities ultra uh, most fits on ultra global illumination shadow quality far shadows okay so uh, reflection quality I dropped it down to high uh, mirror qualities on high uh, same with water and volumetrics particle quality uh, tessellations on ultra and I have the DLSS set to quality just because um, the picture just seemed not quite right to me and this seems to help a lot so obviously we're not getting much performance benefit from it but I do think for a quality standpoint it's really really nice to have and then that was about advanced um, we're running on the Vulcan I haven't tried the DirectX 12 uh, I know Vulcan usually works better with the AMD processors, so I just kind of left it there. Um, near volumetric is high. Far is high. Where are we? Yeah, everything's pretty much on high. Particle lighting quality is on medium. Volumetric ray match resolution is off. I'm not exactly sure what that is. Soft shadows is on ultra, grass shadows I put on medium because, I mean, grass shadows, really. Long shadows are on, full resolution, screen space ambient occlusion is off. Uh, water reflection is on high. Water physics, I didn't really touch that. Can't really mess with the resolution scale. Well, I didn't anyways. Uh, most of the stuff I didn't really touch. I took the motion blur off because I'm never really a fan of it. Uh, no reflection, anti-aliasing. Uh, yeah, so like I said, I kind of left everything how it was. Some things I turned down to high just because I want to take it easier on the graphics card. Uh, tree quality. Yeah, I'll just kind of go through it slow and let you guys see so you don't have to keep hearing me talk about everything for quality I almost want to move that up to high we'll try that on high see how it goes tree tessellation and that is it I'm going to oh no 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 uh back what the heck? Please tell me I didn't just screw all my settings up. Okay. It looks like, yeah, everything's still the same. I'm going to put the fur quality. Oh, okay. It just changed the one. So we're going to go ahead and... Yeah, I think we're good. And as far as... uh. What you're going to see, I'm just going to run the benchmark test. I think this is pretty accurate as far as what I've been experiencing in the game. So I think this would be a good one. It kind of shows different scenarios. Um, as far as frame rates go, there's usually between 60 and 80. I've seen it go a little bit higher and I've also seen it drop into the 50s. But I think for the most part for this game, it's more than adequate as far as the frame rate goes. So I'm just going to let the benchmark run out and we'll call it after that. I hope you enjoy the video. I hope to see you in the next one.
Sorry, I almost forgot to turn that on there.
All right, that actually ran a little better than I thought it was going to. So if you made it this far, thanks for watching. I hope to see you in the next one. Bye, guys.